A team of anti-smuggling unit custom division involved seizes one log Wallace George tablet worth around 10 crore rupees at Lilong Myron School, Makal Laika in Thobal District. And former Union Minister and BJP stalwart Arun Jaitley passes away at 66 today at All India Institute of Medical Science. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Afternoon News. I'm Jay Shainam with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Acting on a tip of a team of anti-smuggling unit custom division, Imphal has seized one log Wallis George's tablet worth around 10 crore rupees from an individual yesterday. The team, led by SP of Anti-Smuggling Unit Custom Division, Imphal P. Robin, seized the contraband drugs from the miscreant at Lilong Myron Kul, Makal Laikai in Taubal District around 4 p.m. The miscreant is identified as 23-year-old M.D. Hefajudin, son of M.D. Riyajudin from Lilong Hauribi. Speaking to media at Custom Office in Sangakpam today, SPP Robin urged people to cooperate in curbing drug menace from the state. He asserted that the Custom Department will continue to carry out various anti-drug drives even in the future. A case under NDPS Act 1985 was registered against the miscreant and investigations are underway. ตอนนี้พอสิยังตัวในภาระคือยูฮานะยูอัตโตเปเจนซีเดียมไฟอะไรก็มันพูดสิทรัพย์สินโอ้ยมันห้องโอ้ยราบาสิเช่นพูดก
IGR South in a press release asserted that most incidents of snake bite occurred from April to October. Assam Rifles are sure to continue providing medical help to snake bite victims even in the future. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on the demise of former Union Minister Arun Jetli. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Afternoon News. Former Union Minister Arun Jetli passed away at the age of 66 at All India Institute of Medical Sciences, aims around 12.07 p.m. today. Jetli was under undergoing treatment at a hospital for several weeks. Jetley was rushed to All India Institute of Medical Science on August 9 after he complained of breathlessness and restlessness. He was kept under observation at the Cardio Neuro Center of the hospital. However, his condition kept on deteriorating. Jetley, a lawyer by profession, had been a key member of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's cabinet in the BJP government's first term. He held the finance and defense portfolios and often acted as the chief troubleshooter of the government. Chief Minister Nang Thombambirin has expressed deep condolences upon the demise of former Union Minister and senior BJP leader Arun Jetli. In a tweet, Chief Minister Birin prayed for his soul to rest in peace and also shared the grief of the Biri family. Assam Chief Minister Sarbanan Sonawal on Friday reviewed the law and order situation ahead of the final publication of National Register of Citizens NRC on 31st August in a meeting with the Deputy Commissioner, DCs and Superintendents of Police SP of all districts of the state in Guwahati. Directing the DCs and SP to maintain close relations with the influential people and opinion makers in the society, the Chief Minister asked them to ensure that no misunderstanding about the NRC process remain among the people. He also instructed the district administrations to take help of public representatives like MLAs, Jilla Parishad members, Panchayat members and dedicated NGOs to make all sections of the people aware about the real implications of NRC process which was being monitored by Supreme Court of India and legal ways which would be available to the people excluded from NRC. Referring to a statement of Ministry of Home Affairs, Serban and Sonawal also strongly asserted that even people excluded from NRC would not be treated as foreigners and foreigners. Tribunals are the ultimate authority in declaring a person foreigner after a stipulated process. Food and Consumer Affairs Minister Ram Vilas Paswan today said that government has a large stock of pulses and oil seeds. He also said the government is monitoring the rise in prices of pulses and oils during the last few days. In a series of tweets, Ram Vilas Paswan said the main reason behind this is the creation of an environment of artificial boom in pulses and oils by the hoarders. He said the government will take immediate actions against hoarders. The minister further said his ministry has written a letter of to agriculture ministry to immediately sell the pulses and all seed purchased through NAFED, especially the mustard and gram in the market, so that the consumers can get pulses and all at a reasonable price. Now, the sports news. In badminton, PV Sindhu and B. Sai Praneet will play their semi final matches in the BWF World Champions at Basel, Switzerland. PV Sindhu will take on the reigning Old England Open Championship. Chinese fourth seeded Chen Yufi, whereas B. Sai Praneet will face world number one Kanto Momota of Japan in the semi finals today. Earlier, Sindhu defeated world number two Tai Zhu Ying of Chinese Taipei. 12-21, 23-21, 21-19 in quarterfinals yesterday. 
B side Pranit defeated Wolves No. 4 Jonathan of Indonesia in the quarterfinals. He scored 24-22, 21-14 win over Asian Games goal medalist. He became only the second Indian men's player after the legendary Prakash Padukone to win the World Championship medal in 36 years. Sanya Kidambi Srikan and H.S. Pranoy both out the world champions from the pre-quarterfinal stage. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. A team of anti-smuggling unit custom division Imphal seizes one lock wall is your tablet. Worth around 10 core rupees from the long Myron Kul Makal Laikai in Taubal district. And former Union Minister and BJP stalwart Arun Jetty passes away at 66 today at All India Institute of Medical Sciences.